Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, you're going to learn how to trade the crypto market with only a small budget of just $100 and how it's possible to grow it to a much larger trading account size. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you are interested in trading and would like to try out the same exchanges that I use on a regular basis, feel free to go ahead and check out the MEXC crypto exchange with the link in the video description down below. And since MEXC is not available for people in the United States to trade futures on, I also have another link down there um, to another exchange called Blowfin that is available for people in the United States as well. And here's Blowfin. Um, so as many of you know, I do a lot of trading education type videos and I've gotten quite a few requests from people asking if I would do a video on the best ways to trade the crypto market with smaller account sizes like $100, $500, and even $1,000. So this video is for people who want to start trading with just $100. Um, but I'll also have videos next week and the following week as well for $500 and $1,000 as well, since the strategy will be a little bit different for each. Now. In addition to that, since this is a trading education video, I do have to say the basics out loud that trading crypto is extremely risky and you could lose all of your money if you're treating tr if you're treating trading like a casino and aren't trading with a strategy or a plan in place. In addition, this video is not about me telling you what coins to trade or how to open buy orders or anything like this, okay? This is more of a strategic planning type of video so you know exactly what to do with a small account size. So, when when you're trading with a smaller amounts when you're trading with smaller amounts of capital like $100 for example, naturally your emotions are going to get the best of you because you look at your $100 and you're naturally hoping that you can turn it into like $10,000 or more in the fastest way possible. However, this is not the right type of mindset that you want to have. In fact, this is the type of mindset that will surely lead you to making piss poor decisions and end up losing all of your money. Instead, you need to focus on patience and longevity, all right? And what I mean by this is when you're trading, it is absolutely imperative that you take your time charting and planning out each and every trade. This means you wanna be doing stuff like um, this means you want to be doing stuff like spotting trends, potential reversals, divergences, and confirming your biases in multiple different ways, all right? Your goal here is to protect your capital and grow it. Your goal is not to give it away for free because of impatient decision making, all right? Now, as far as which market you should be trading with such a small amount of capital, you'll probably want to trade the futures market with leverage, but that's simply just your emotions talking, all right? That's simply your emotions talking because as I mentioned earlier, you naturally have it in your thought process that you want to grow your account as fast as possible. But the futures market is not the best idea to start with if you've only got $100 to trade with. Um, instead, you should trade the regular spot market until you build your $100 up to at least $1,000 minimum, all right? And the reason for this is the spot market is a lot less risky since you're not using leverage and you'll be able to solely focus on profiting from price increases. No, it won't be fast, but while you're growing your $100, you're going to learn all kinds of valuable things just from trading the spot market. Now, in addition to that, I also want to note that you should never trade the futures market unless you have an ample amount of experience trading the spot market first on a mature level, all right? and you have to have a solid strategy built up for yourself as well, all right? Now we are talking, this video is mainly for people who really wanna take this seriously and really turn themselves into an actual trader, okay? So we've got psychology, mindset, and markets covered. So now we are gonna talk about position sizes, okay? If you only have $100 to play around with, you do not wanna use that whole $100 in one trade. Instead, you want to use only a small portion of it in each trade. For example, if you're charting out two different coins and you find potential reversals that might be coming up soon and you want to buy in to profit from the potential rise, you only should be putting like $25 into each position, all right? Now, the reason for this is because if those trades don't end up going in your favor, then you'll still have another $50 left over to put into other positions. It's all about managing your risk and being cognizant of where your capital is at all times, all right? Realistically, 
trading with just $100, $100 is definitely possible. I have seen other people do it before, and I've seen them easily grow their accounts to over $10,000 plus, um, starting with just 100 bucks. And I've also seen others lose it all as well. The big difference between the ones who grow their accounts and the ones who lose it all is that the ones who, the ones who lose, they didn't go into trading with an actual plan, a strategy, risk management, or knowledge of technical analysis whatsoever. They literally went in, they literally went into it thinking that it would be a walk in the park and they would get rich overnight and they pretty much lost every well, you know, lost their 100 bucks, all right? So if you really want to take this seriously, you have to take it seriously and do the work, all right? Trading is just like any other skill out there and that's one thing you have to be cognizant of as well. Trading is literally just like any other skill out there. The more you do it, the more you learn from your mistakes, the more tools you have at your disposal, and the more consistent you are, you'll eventually get to a point where you're confident as hell with your new skill set, and you'll have a much better chance at being consistently profitable from trading. And one last thing to keep in mind here is, you will never win 100% of your trades. No trader ever does, okay? But overall here, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this short video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. But if you haven't already and you would like to, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey guys, with that said, thanks for watching.